Next we need to get the oil filter cover off with these three bolts. And they take a Torx T30 star bit, but if you don't have one handy, we can get away with an 8mm socket on these bolts. Ain't a bad idea to have your drain bucket and a few chop towels handy when you pull that filter out. Next I like to inspect the o-ring on the oil filter cover for any rips or tears. k suggests replacing this o-ring every oil change, but this one looks great, so I plan to reuse it. So this is how our old filter came out with the rubber boot part facing in. Uh, the new one should pop in the same sort of way with this being the inside and this being the outside. I also like to lube the o-ring with a dab of oil to ensure it seats properly. Now our three oil filter cover bolts only need around 7 foot pounds of torque so I like to carefully snug them up by hand with a screwdriver style driver to ensure I don't over tighten them causing a leak. And to make checking for leaks easier once I've got oil in it I like to spray some degreaser and hose off the mess. So I hope this helps with your next oil filter replacement. If you'd like to see a full oil change video, check out the links in the description where we have oil change videos for Renegade, Outlander, Commander, and Maverick owners.